Welcome my friends, this is Maniacal Incorporated continuing on with my Frankie Donovan run. And it's fair to say that we are now in the end game. This is going to be the second last episode. It will end with a battle against Angelo Jenna, setting up a titanic Irish civil war in Chicago on the next episode, where I will take on Dino Banyan and Frank Reagan. Uh, here's some of Reagan's troops. They are outside Pleasureland, and I think it's fair to say they're going to attack that building. So in this episode, I'm going to do some of the missions to try and basically see what the missions are, but also to uh, to strengthen some of my characters. I'd say I'm going to burn this entire place to the ground before I actually fight Jenna. The first thing I'm going to do, at the end of the last episode, when I defeated Saltus, I got a weapon from him, a sledgehammer, and I said I was going to give it to Clyde. I have a better idea. So we come to Frankie Knuckles Donovan with his come on. His Kamon is actually an extension of him. It's part of him. It doesn't count as a weapon. So what I can do... is Frankie Donovan is now going to dual wield his Kamon and the Number Cruncher. If we look at it, uh, 35 to 40 base damage, 40 to 46 crit with a 50% chance of critting. And of course, because it's a melee weapon... Uh, we have that run-up ability. So what the hell am I hoping for here? Runs up to somebody. Kills them with Unleash Fury. Then goes to town on somebody else with the Number Cruncher. And worst comes to worst. Uses the American Wake to finish them off with... Kill Chain which probably gives him another attack. So we could see him we could see him turn into an utter killing machine getting his 200th kill. Uh, but that's that's what I want to see. I just basically want to see can we have Frankie Donovan dual wielding a come on and a sledgehammer. So after spending the last almost quarter of an hour running around looking for a battle, we have finally found one. Uh, let's see what the number cruncher does. Gotcha. Let's see what the number cruncher does on a good day. What's this person? So 80 and they have armor. Uh, so if Frankie just makes a normal melee attack, get him to run as far as he can. Of course. So I think. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh, That's what I'm talking about. Day. Yeah. Excellent. Grand victory. That's what I'm talking. Good man, Frank. I think he caught her across the knee as he was passing her by. Because you heard the crunch. And she started to fall before he'd stopped running. But uh, I think he did 81 damage there with a single attack. So not too shabby at all. I'm on it. But yeah, getting Frankie to move long distances. That's, um... That's the key to victory. Sure. Gotcha. Okay, let's see what this looks like for Frankie. If we can actually get that far, we can just about. And again, we will get him to travel as far as possible. Right away. Come here to me. <laughs> Almost. 300 points of damage there, so we could we could just get him to run in here. Our only problem is... With both of his action points back... Could we have used this a bit much? How far can he travel? Two, three, four, that's five. Uh, this guy is... I'm wondering if I move him to here. I thought it was seven he could move, so I'm wondering if I move him. Can I can I move him and then get him to run back an equal distance? I don't think so. And you know what? I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. We'll just bring him in here. Yeah. 
That's what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah! Excellent. Beautiful. Victory! That's what I'm talking about. Are you done? Okay, they are. I, I thought we'd have to get Eddie in there. But, uh, nope. Take the loot. We're going to take over this building. I forgot to check what this area actually was good for. I'm going to make it into... We'll leave it as a brothel. And... I'm going to confirm. But you know what? I do have one last name. We're going to name this brothel... After the famous line from Gone with the Wind, Frankie, my dear, I don't give a damn. Now, I thought that taking the very last independent building in Chinatown would give us control of the region, that we would uh, control the neighborhood, but we don't. So I presume we're going to have to take out the, um, the one or two minor factions. The two minor factions. So... We're gonna we're gonna come up, we're gonna talk to Izzy. And then I'm gonna declare war on these minor factions for absolutely no reason. Reagan, go away. Go away. And so just before we get in the door to Izzy, Dale the Bomber Chef Mahan, who fed Saltus a TNT sandwich at the end of the last episode, is after getting his final upgrade, or uh, he's in line to get his final upgrade. Uh, it's the first actual special ability. It is, because uh, we didn't take that one, which would allow me to throw bombs, and we didn't take that one. Um, the These ones were selected before I actually got access to, uh, to Dale. But um, this looks like a good one. I can't wait to use it. Cluster Grenade. Throw a bomb that explodes into three smaller bombs. Oh. 270 days. Thank Jesus. If we just look, who's... 83 days until we get um, Natalie Warren's. 182 for Jez. Uh, Frankie is maxed out. 169 for Cyril. 255. I don't think we're going to be getting any of these uh, beyond Return Fire. And I'd say himself and Cyril are almost identical. Yeah, they the exact same traits for the two of them. But... Um, Right, we'll continue on. We're not going to see any of those traits. We'll continue on. We'll all head inside for a pint. And we'll see Izzy. Izzy coming over us? No. Sure thing. Izzy sitting down. Mm. Izzy getting up. Say, fella, where can a guy get a drink around here? Now, I usually go with... Not here, now. Buzz off. Um, I think... We'll go with this one anyway. Did you notice the bar behind you? Oh yeah. Do you sell whiskey? I have a hankering for some golden nectar. Totally doesn't sound like a cop. Totally doesn't sound like an arc. So we can say no whiskey, but we do have beer. Talk to the bartender or persuasion. Nope, just soda pop. So we're going to try... We've basically figured out he's an arc. Um, we'll go with this first one. I've, I haven't picked this one before, so just we'll see what it does. By the way, there's some sad news here. Oh yeah? What's that? You're under arrest. What? I'm under arrest for selling beer, not for the 195 kills that Frankie has. Uh, so we're in uh, violation, uh, violation of the Volstead Act. And you're going to have to come with me. Now, there's two ways that we can do this. The easy way or the hard way. Which will it be? Hard way. Oh, I didn't even see there was options. Um, right, so, oh, Izzy's gone out the door, and we're up against, is that Cyril's dad? Bop agents. Oh man, they're bopping out. They don't seem well equipped. You know what, this is interesting. I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely glad I took this option, because it's something different to what we usually get. Can Frankie... No, I don't think he'd be able to one-shot them. I was going to say, could Frankie kill the three of these people? That's Cyril. Cyril, why do you look like a cop? I don't think Frankie will be able to run far enough, and I think they have high enough armor. Let's see. 
Anna. Come here to me. <laughs> Lads, look at him there, bopping out on the ground. And then, of course, what we do is we melee attack this guy. We get Frankie to stand over here. So Frankie's just going to be running around. Running around from left to right like a lunatic. Gave him a good old hammering and knocked him out of cover. I will swap her weapons and uh, end her turn. What an exciting turn. Jez. Why did everyone's morale drop? Why is everyone sad that Jez got a kill? Let's stop. And uh, let's see if we can get a double shotgun or a double uh, machine gun. Minus two morale all around the place. And Dale has gotten himself an upgrade for the submachine gun. Uh, Prey on the weak. Yeah, Fantastic. that's what I'm fucking talking yeah. about. Excellent. Beautiful. Victory. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's it. Oh, sorry. So we got $200 and plus 10 notoriety, which brings us up to a solid 1,000. So we are maxed out on notoriety. That's how Frankie's health has been going up. The more notorious he becomes, the healthier he becomes. Ah, oh, it makes sense. Okay. Uh, Banyan isn't giving us time to think. Where is this? Um, I do you know what? That's 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 a loss. That's a loss. So I've left the bar. I'm heading off to declare war on one of the minor factions, and we're told that that wasn't any guy trying to take away our booze. That was Easy Einstein. I thought they gave him a kind of a a variant on the surname. I thought it was um, Einstein or something. Uh, he's a famous prohibition agent. Good thing we scared him off. He's bad for business. He left before... He just let those men die, basically. He knew they were going to die. And he just sent them in there. Himself. So what we're going to do... Is figure out where the hell the entrance is to this building. On the other side. No, it's right here. It's right oh, here. So these are the dead posse... And yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a bit of a war just to take these buildings, upgrade some stats, and try and get one of the achievements for taking over a neighborhood. This could put us at war with the Jennas. <laughs> Who's that? No, I don't think it has. I'm on it. I'm gonna <laughs> batter you. <laughs> In your face, you fucking gobshite. Right, well, in the middle of running around the road, uh, I got that achievement for taking over a neighborhood. So, I guess it was just a bit late in updating? Or maybe you have to see out a full week or something. I don't know. 
But we've now ended up in a war. Uh, for no real reason. So that gave me an actual Steam achievement. And that's... My entire life is just based on... On Steam, Steam achievements. It's my... Um, right it's how I define myself as a person. But yeah, if we don't yeah, need to take these buildings... Sorry for talking over you guys. If I don't need to take these buildings, I don't want them. So, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna make peace with... The... With the dead posse. The other thing is that there is an achievement for... Getting all of the synergies. So we're missing three of a kind and hotel. So I could just take this building and convert it into a hotel. What I have found is that they don't tell you which of your buildings are already taken up with the other synergies. So you can't have... You can't have, if you have four speakeasies, two of them can't count for two pair and count for the three of a kind. You'd have to have two for the two of a pair, and then a completely separate three uh, speakeasies to contribute to this one. So I don't know what I need to build, and I couldn't be bothered looking for it. I have a feeling that once I defeat Dino Banyan, I'm just going to get that achievement for... The other place so do you know what i don't i don't really care also i'm making a ton of money that i have nothing to spend it on because there's nothing in the black market uh, armor bullets is what i desperately want can't find them anywhere i think i need to pay about four hundred thousand to become an honorary deputy I just could not be bothered trying to put that money together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually ransack this place. So I'm going right to attack away. them. I'm going to ransack them. And then I'm going to just have a peace treaty because I don't care. Come here to me. <clears throat> That's what I'm Sorry. fucking talking about. Yes. Excellent. Beautiful. Victory. Just because we're at peace with a minor faction doesn't mean we're at peace with everyone. I have a mission up here. There's Jacques down by the... He loves hanging around bridges. I'm going to get a taxi to here. I'm going to attack this person. Belongs to Dino Banyan's group. Probably ransack that building. I might head over here and ransack that building. And then come back in this direction. Or we'll just ransack this one. Deal with Jacques' mission. And then do a tour of this area. Ransack Frank's remaining two buildings. I think that's all he has left. And um, yeah, I'm just ransacking places. Desperately, desperately looking for better bullets. I've heard a number of people complaining about the shop in the game. It's it's not great. But um, yeah, it's just, it's just combat, combat, combat. I'll probably raid these two places. Then... Declare war on the Jennas, raid one or two of, of their places, and then we will have our showdown with Jenna. <laughs> so we've stepped out of the taxi. The giant clown car. Run up in this direction. Um, Cyril has a high morale. Who's this? So I think this is our first battle against Dino Banyan. That's what I'm Sorry. fucking talking about. That wasn't yeah, much of a battle. Excellent. Uh, Chinatown, which is, I think it's now known as Murder Strip, has downgraded the uh, the type of alcohol it wants. Come over here and play this little mini game. No, one click wasn't enough. How about two? No. Three? No. Uh, no, ah, I think that was too many. Um, um, aha, yes, I won. Okay. And we're now 
like we've 457 rack we can just come to this ridiculous amount of buildings that we have one of them is still shut and yeah like I said I don't think it it uh, it really matters this place there you go that's all sorted let's come to the actually are these the guys that I just declared war on Sure. I will get them to buy. 24,000 dollars worth of whiskey. Which they will accept. Hotsy totsy. Yes, hotsy totsy indeed. You can also trade with the uh, with the other families. And I have dropped in and out of the trade every once in a while to see is there anything and no. Uh, Jenna, before we go to war with him, has absolutely nothing. So this is what he's selling. Uh, we could sell him. We could sell him our stuff. And, um... So, 6,000. It's saying the value is 6,000. I know for a fact he won't give me anywhere near that. That's, uh, God. Okay, go away. Click on him. And he is two and a half grand in cash. Okay, never mind. I'll just sell my junk to the, uh, to the black market dude. <laughs> yeah! Fantastic! Great! Oh, about. yeah! Excellent! Great. Victory! That's what I'm talking about. We will ransack and we got nothing. But so we all come around to Jacques. Having a relaxing day looking at the fish. Uh, it's good to see you again. I think he's talking to Jez. I don't think he's seen Jez since, since she joined us. Uh, the fish are beeping at us. How are your breweries? Don't you be asking about my breweries. A man of action. I wouldn't have had it any other way. I need you to track down that scoundrel that worked for Dead Posse and stole our product a while back. We have a lead on where he's hiding out. Uh, anything more you can tell me about him? Other than he'll have one of these over his head? Uh, don't know much, unfortunately, but he must have gotten close with someone in our breweries. I don't know how else he could have gotten in. Uh, what do you want me to do with him? I need you to bring him back to me alive. I don't. I don't. I Do you do you understand who you're talking to? I don't know what that word means. Uh, alive? How am I supposed to do that? Knock him out. If, if we could knock people out, we would have knocked out um, Eddie's lover in the last episode. Um, what are you going to do with him? I ain't doing any more. Yeah, sure, I'll see what I can do. I probably am not going to do any more. I've I've missions to do. I have people to kill. Right, we're gonna come around the corner. Sure thing. Because I think he's only up here. There he is. Right. We're... Of course. We're, we're just terrorizing um poor old Frank at the stage. Frank has people lined up at the door, Who's shotguns, this? rifles pointed, waiting what? for us to come in, and now nah, we're that? just we're just attacking all his people outside Who's the door. This? Everyone is so nosy. Who's this? Who's that? Who are you? Are those my feet? I'm gonna <laughs> batter you. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. Now the actual turn proper starts. On it. That's what I'm so fucking great. talking about. Yes. Excellent. Great. Victory. Need something. Frank, no. Frank, no. We need you. Who's this? Can do. So Jenna's getting suspicious of us. We're going to come around the corner. We're going to attack this place. That's the first time that I've actually gotten that um, that I've type of armor 
in a battle, it's no good. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, sure. Sure. How, why, why couldn't you have just offered it all in one go? Sure. Right away. Who's there? Oh, actually get close enough. They have a level four guard. I'm on no a respect these punks. Frankie does not have the power to one shot. With the with the American wake. I suppose yeah, we'll just have him we'll just have him loosen somebody up for That's somebody else. Fucking gobshite. Frankie language. If you need a scope at that range, I'd want to say. Oh my god, Chinatown is... Oh no, it's improving now. It's improving yet, yeah, doesn't make a difference. How much whiskey are we back to? Already back to 125. Will do, not a bother. They ain't got no chance. That's what I'm so fucking talking mighty. about. Yes. Excellent. Solo, huh? Victory. That's what I'm talking. About. Yay. Got a problem. Just about managed to ambush them. So we might, if we're lucky, get two kills off with Frankie. We will. We'll shoot this guy first. Now, the actual round starts. My god, there is such a list of them to get through. I haven't gotten anything beyond an uncommon handgun. I have gotten nothing above that level. We will take that. I'm going to ransack this building. And then I think we're going to go and do uh, Jacques's mission. Hmm. Better run, punks. Oh, wow, that was great. Uh, Clyde has gotten himself 25 kills with shotguns. I've no overwatch reaching out to that guy, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna step on you. Oh, 
That's what I'm oh, fucking talking about. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Beautiful. Victory. That's what I'm talking about. Still not great. We'll take that. We will ransack. We will hope for something better. A single action revolver. Yay. Uh, a BM 1918 submachine gun. 9 to 15 damage. Not great. Not great. Okay, then. We are back in near south side to complete Jacques' mission first. We're going to attack the um, the Crimson Campeos. I thought it was the dead posse that he wanted us to go after. Do you know what? I don't care. Anyway, en route... Uh, we're going to pass through this area, and you know what? It would be a terror. It would be a terror not to uh, to stop in and say hi. We might even get to fight of this um, gang of Obanians as well. I'm on it. Come here to me. <laughs> now we might, if we're lucky. Take that, you no. Fucking Never mind. But she have doesn't have line of sight there. Shit. I'm falling behind getting um, Natalie Warren upgraded for her sniper. Like I said, I do want ranged. I do want ranged people upgraded. I don't know who to to start trying to go with next. I think we'll delay Jez. We'll delay Dale. And we'll see if we can uh, add any couple of kills for Eddie and Frank. Yeah. Excellent. Beautiful. Victory. Beryl is still heartbroken. Of course. And we will attack another of Dino Banyan's clubs. Right away. Yeah, Sign. that's Great. what I'm fucking talking yes. about. Excellent. It's not common, but it's also nothing that anyone uses. Do you know what? I'm not even I'm not even using handguns, so I don't really care. Uh, we've we've discussed. We already knew where his safe house was. We already knew. It's okay. We'll we'll check. I forgot to see who actually found it, but uh, yeah, no, I I I knew this already. Or has he moved? Or does he have multiple ones? Wait a minute, I thought it was down. I thought it was over there. So that's the Northside Mob's safe house. And up here is... The Northside Mob's safe house. This would actually make more sense that he would be in um, uh, Fulton Market. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Do you know what? I don't really care either. We'll go and we'll attack Fulton Market in a few minutes. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going to come down here. And then, after I have this done, I'm declaring war on Jenna. And I'm going to head straight for him, wherever he is. He's over there. So we'll be here. Okay, I won't head straight. I'll head at an angle. We'll ransack at least one building, two building, and then we'll go down to him. Stop. What's your business here? Uh, I need to talk to that guy back there. Oh, yeah. That guy. Out of my way, bubs. No. Uh, I need to talk to that guy, says Frankie, pointing at all the people in the room. Uh, can't let you do that. Boss wants to see them. I wasn't actually pointing at anyone. Uh, can you let me talk to them for a minute? No. There's only one way into that room, and that's through me. 
I'm on the other side. Uh, never mind. This is actually one of the best just random gangs I've seen, I think. And that doesn't say a lot. Sure thing. Where's Frankie after going to? There he is. Oh no, Frankie, we need more, we need high-powered rounds, we need high-powered rounds. Those are two people in here, hmm. That's Eddie. I was going to have him shoot Eddie. Sorry, Eddie. Eddie is worried. Eddie, everyone you've ever loved is dead. I don't know what you're worried about. Who's this? Frank. So you'll have seen that there are certain ways to get certain stats. Uh, Dr. Natalie Warren, executing somebody, got her the Dr. Death nickname, I should say. Um, Dale Mahan, killing people. So killing multiple people, I imagine, in a single attack, got him the Mad Bomber stat. Uh, Nora, working with... <clears throat> So I don't know how to get any of the other nicknames, um, how to get, what have I done here? Run and gun, but he's not, he's not going the whole, there we go. I don't know what else, it's kind of random things in the game, so basically there's, there's no way of getting Cyril Dr. Death McCray. But I'm wondering if I have anyone else execute people, would, uh, would I get stats with them as well? Um, sure, do you know what, there's nothing, there's nothing else to do. Come on. There's nothing else to do. Time to fucking die. Fuck yes. What the hell did he use there? Ah uh, no. Oh well, then again, I didn't. I didn't mean to have him shoot that person. I wanted him to shoot her. But then again, just having Frankie execute people who are bleeding out—not execute them, but actually shoot them with the um, with the American wake. There you go. Uh, what do we? I won't say we found an exploit, but. Um, we found a bizarre way of, of farming for uh, for stats. That's what I'm Sorry. fucking talking about. Yes. Excellent. All right. Victory. That's what I'm talking about. What? I don't want this place. Okay, we got a, another Mauser. We got some top shelf, but uh, got some whiskey, but it's not. Um... Rosie? It was you all along? I did see Rosie when, um, when we went into the building. Rosie, are you not pet? Are you not. Clyde, come on! Clyde, come on. Give her the coat, man. Of course. Yeah, she'll be warm now when a big bunch of Irishmen gathered round her, leering at her. Um, Clyde, Clyde knows Jez is there, so he's he's not even he's not even making eye contact. He's not even looking. Dale's getting awful close. Thank goodness you showed up when you did, Rosie. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, trouble seems to find me no matter what I do. Now let's get out of here. 
Not so fast. I need to find someone. A guy who robbed some stuff from the CMA a while back. Rosie, do you know who this guy could be? He he probably has one of these over his head, Rosie. Rosie, do you know? Do you know who it is, Rosie? Rosie? Why does Jez have the Assassin's Creed logo on her, uh... Anyway. Ah, so here it is. Well, maybe I can help you. You want to find the person who robbed the CMA? Yes, Jez. Or, uh, Rosie. Yes, we do. I'm getting confused now. Uh, you're looking at her. Jez? Oh, it was Rosie. What? Shock horror. It's me, Frankie. I know I'm not exactly what you were expecting. But you stole from your own brother? Right. Frankie? Believe me, he's done far worse to me. I used to lead the CMA with Jacques. Then one day he pushed me out of the business, said no girl's gonna tell him what to do, even if she's blood. I decided long ago that he needed to be put down. Why did he do that? Yeah, sure. Uh, who knows? Well, okay. In any case, I'm bringing him down. You can either help me or get out of my way. Uh, what are you planning to do? I've decided. Uh, if you decide to help me, maybe I'll tell you. Uh, why did everyone think you were a guy? People believe what they want to believe. No one could imagine the sweet and innocent Rosie getting mixed up in a business like Jacques, even though she led Jacques' business once upon a time. So I let them keep believing in the Mystery Men. That was a great move. Oh, the Mystery Men. Okay, never mind. How did you get involved with D Dutch Schultz anyway? His name has only popped up once. This is this is being derailed as well. Um, that was merely a way to get information. That's how I operate. I insert myself into factions and steal secrets. So well, that's what she's been doing at the brothel. And it was all going so well too. To those pesky kids. The Scooby Gang. Shaggy. Oh wait, did we sell Velma? That's really incredible, Rosie, but here's the thing. Okay. We could have just clicked that about seven or eight options ago. Well, no matter how careful you are, you were never careful enough. What are you going to do? Uh, I think you should leave town. Put all this behind you. What do you mean? I'm bringing you in. Uh, in out of the cold. In out of the cold. We'll ask, we'll tell her, I don't know, that she should leave town. Not a chance. I have a better idea. You help me take out Jacques and I take his place. Are you going to take his clothes as well? Because I don't think anyone's going to let you lead a gang looking like that. I'm amazed more people in the street haven't been kind of stopping and... I don't know. Then you and I can work together. Ah, uh, she's gonna... She's... <clears throat> she's gonna insert herself into our faction as well. What? That's crazy. I don't even know you. Uh, this is your last chance. I don't want to have to bring you to Jacques. If you won't leave, then I'm taking you down. We'll go with this. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. Maybe. But you already know Jacques. Do you know him? To be someone who's reliable? Someone who won't cross you? Uh, you have a point. He's been a nuisance ever since I joined him. I don't trust either of you, but he's the one paying the bills. They've actually done more to set up this mission than they did to set up um, Frankie's actual mission. Then again, everyone has access to this one, so I suppose it makes sense. You have a point. He's been a nuisance. Good. So here's what you do. He improved all my breweries, the bastard. Uh, go back to Jacques, and then he uh, and when he asks you about about the mole, I'll know that's my cue. What? To blow him away? <clears throat> oh, she's going to kill him! All oh, right, okay. Um, we're taking Jacques. We're taking out Jacques tonight, Frankie. It's about time. <laughs> Frankie came around to this very quickly. Dear God, this family is this family is as bad as our own. Uh, return to Jacques. Um, go away, you. 
We're going back to Jacques. We're back in near Northside. We've just gotten out of the taxi. I've spotted some of Reagan's Colts, so I'm gonna head in this direction. Or maybe let's let's it's stand here done. and wait for them. So they have their binoculars out. Will they spot us? No. What? Need right. something? Not until it's too late. So from here, if we're lucky, Frankie should take out. There you go. That's what I'm fucking great. Oh yeah! Excellent. Solo, huh? Victory. That's what I'm talking about. I'm on it. And off down to meet Jacques, so his sister can blow him away. Okay, everyone, just act cool. Just act cool. Just, guys, act cool! Mm -hmm. You're back? Well? Then we say very loudly, Your mole is on the way. You didn't bring him back with you. I didn't th think it seemed necessary, given the circumstances. Circum... What on earth are you talking about? Uh, you'll see... Rosie, you can come out now. She's been hiding in, um, in what's his name's, um, her coat. No, she hasn't. She's, she's come up. She has a CMA deserter and another CMA deserter. So these are, I don't think I've seen, um, these models before, we'll say. Wait. Jacques is on the side. I don't know what's going on anymore. Fight! Uh, where is everyone else? This is a really awkward place for a battle. Where is... Okay, so, so it's it's just Jacques. Well, there you go. Um, we could just have him crunch some numbers. I'm, yeah, I'm going to do this. We run up here. And then we run back. I'm on it. Get a run and start. Yeah. And it worked. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Solo, huh? Victory. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what to say. We completed the mission. Return to Jacques. Uh, Whack-a-mole, seven and a half grand. We're already at max notoriety. Uh, Rosie, would you not put on some clothes? He didn't think I was capable. He thought I was nothing more than a little doll. You did nothing. Um, yeah, good job out there. Thanks. Now I think I need to be alone for a little while. Uh, don't take too long. You and I have work to do. I don't think we're ever going to be seeing each other again. Usually your brother runs off at this stage, does he? I don't know. Okay, fine. We'll run off. We're zigzagging across the place like crazy. We're back at near Southside. I've gotten to this taxi rank. We're going to come around this corner. We're going to attack uh, Lucky Stars. Then Pure Bliss. Did I run that at one stage? I can't remember. And then we're going for the Jennas. I'm going to declare war first of all before I do that though. Just for the hell of it. A Jenna. War. War. Confirm. Okay, sorry. Uh, this area is blocked off. What I was hoping to do was to... Um, Right away. To wait for the game to stop saving. Uh, get through here. Maybe fight those guys if I had to. And then sneak out this way. 
and we'd actually end up in combat against the two of them at the same time. Uh, there's a problem with the new brewery. A couple of people got real sick drinking at the cellar. And they're saying it's our beer. You might want to go and speak with Joel. He's in charge of brewing. I'll be right there. We won't be doing that uh, this episode. The good news is the black market had more stock. The bad news is it had nothing. I got some anvil rounds and gave them to... Uh, who did I give them to? Eddie. And I got some grenades. Guess who I gave those to? Name starts with Dale. I'm on it. I also have like 120,000 because I sold all my whiskey. I sold... I have nothing to spend it on. I just sold a ton of stuff and all of our weapons. Oh, we might be able to sneak in here between them. Hmm. I think we did. Should have probably given those rounds to Frankie. But Frankie has the rounds that knock off a chunk of um, armor. I might swap. After this combat and see if it makes any... Oh, that's one of our guys. Why was I trying to kill him? Is he not doing his job? I'm on it. I thought I was attacking one of uh, your man's breweries or his buildings. <laughs> yes! Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Yes! Excellent. Beautiful. Victory! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we were just okay, ah, uh, we were on the wrong we were on the wrong corner. Uh very quickly, Frankie, I will take the Shatter rounds from him and I will take the anvil rounds. Oh they're un there's rarity in the bullets as well. Is there like common? Un is there rare anvil rounds? So they increase damage by 10%. Well, I'll take them from Eddie for the American Wake uh, regular rounds. I could I could give those shatter rounds. I don't think we will. Uh, Cyril has high impact, which increases the chance of crits. Uh, Eddie, I will give you the Shatter Rounds. So we have very few special bullets. How many have we? Four in total across this in entire playthrough. And I purchased all of them, I think. So that's a bit of a nuisance. Right, we will, we will go up and we'll hit this building, this one, and then Jenna. Get him to run to there. Takes out his sledgehammer. And get him to run back. It's already done. Like he was right there, standing right next to them. What must it look like for Frankie to run around? I suppose he just ran out, ran around the um the the pole, used its gravitational force to slingshot himself around the pole and uh, and hit that person. Okay, Natalie did not do enough damage to um, to kill. And she's another person who probably needs yes, high power really bullets. Yes. Excellent. Beautiful. Victory. And now they reappear. Why couldn't I have just fought them all at the same time? There we go, this is what I was looking for. After 50 kills with rifles, Frankie Donovan has been awarded the Puncture Hide trait. Stupid jackasses. We could have him uh, swap to the pistol just to knock some HP off and to, to let somebody else get some kills. <laughs> Well, let's see what that actually does. 
50% chance to inflict one armor damage when using rifles, so we don't really even need to have the uh, the shatter rounds on him anymore. Perfect. Thank you very much, Jenna, for that help. The absolute devil. Yeah. Yes. Victory. So we've gotten a pop-up. The feds have gotten a tip that you were holding CMA booze in your breweries. They busted into one. Which one? And now they've confirmed it. They're bringing you in. Let's get this over with. Are we now at war with the cops? Oh yeah, with that. Uh, we have four weeks. This is it. The feds have closed down one of your breweries. And what's worse, they know uh, that you've been working with the CMA. You have to meet with the chief of the Bank of Ireland. Oh, wait, no, the brewery... Um, Bureau of Investigation. I always get that word mixed up. And see what he has to say. You've got to meet with the chief of the BOI and see what he has to say. So we have four weeks and one day. We'll do that at the start of the next episode. I got some work to do. I got other people that I need to meet. With everything that is on the screen, I cannot see where the people are that I'm supposed to be attacking. I can see one of them. I know the other guy is, is up there, but there is the screen now is just so muddled. There, no, there he is. Cyril, there's a naked man following you. Run! Yeah, Fantastic. that's what I'm fucking Mighty. talking about. Yeah, excellent. Great. Victory! That's what I'm talking about. Wizard oil, wizard oil, you say? I think I know where that wizard oil has been coming from. We'll, uh, we'll see now in a second as we head around the corner. Uh, Frank McCurlin has learned a new talent. So, yeah, it's going to be 270 days. How about, that? how about that, Frank? I don't know how I feel. It's... Like, you have you have two level-up systems. You have three level-up systems. There is their morale and loyalty, which makes them uh, tolerant and stuff like this. Plus 5% injury chance. Because they're tolerant. Um, and they became happy because I, I upgraded something as well at some stage. Or no, because of their, their morale. So that's one upgrade system, their morale and their loyalty. Another upgrade system is these weapons, which you get uh, per kill. And then there's this, which is time-based. Doesn't matter what they do. Doesn't matter... How many people they kill or don't kill? 270 days. I I like the stuff that's here, but I don't like the fact that it's time-based. Because it's it's really just artificially extending the game. Maybe if you were playing with 10 neighborhoods, but mother of god. Lads, would we ever get out of here if we were playing with 10 neighborhoods? There's Dino Banyan's hotel, which I don't think we can attack, can we? No, we can't. Right away. It's like uh, it's like that hotel in um, John Wick. You're not allowed to you're not allowed to have fights in there. Hmm. Who is this? Oh, boys. In your face, you fucking gobshite. <laughs> you know, I'm only using the handgun to. Um, Weaken people. I could very well put that away. Take out the take out the shotgun, and we're, or not the shotgun, but the, the rifle, and we're still not going to kill people. <laughs> so we're winning in terms of action economy. But our weapons are just so weak that 
we're not getting um, we're not getting kills fast enough. And this could cause trouble. I do want Cyril to kill that person. Or not Cyril. Yeah, Cyril. I should have... I should have runned and gunned. So he's going to get his his attack off. Ah, Clyde. And this is our problem. Oh, that was a very high lob. That was a very high lob. And we could be looking at some people out injured. We could be looking at some people out injured. In your face, you fucking gobshite. Absolutely. I would hope we're not going to see Jez out injured. Not a baller. Yeah, pay, pay him back. No doc for you. No duck for you. That's what I'm Slice. fucking talking about. Yeah. Excellent. Grand victory. Okay, no, everyone is grand. Everyone is a okay. And here it is, the Jenna safe house. As always, just in case these two fools do something stupid, I'm gonna take. Uh, a couple of seconds. I actually need to um, to heal yes. everyone. I need to heal everyone, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that first of all. Mm. I'll keep the game paused so that we're not running down on this timer, but you saw it there. Jez was down to 23 HP, I think. So, pretty much a single shot and a well-placed grenade and she could be in a bit of trouble i don't know if everyone's gotten on? their armor back talk to me yeah what is it jez does not seem What's to have any right? armor yes I don't know if the armor can take the oh yeah, we we took we took the um yeah Jez hasn't been doing melee attacks. Jez has not been doing melee attacks, so do you know what? Do you know what? There. And Frankie with his ring is now up to three hundred HP. Uh, if I take that off and give him Yeah, it knocks him down to two fifty. So boys oh boys. Nelly's ring is doing mighty work. Right. Let's go pay a, a visit to Angelo Jenna. Okay, they have a much stronger group than we usually see. However, they've already potentially... Yeah, somebody's in a very bad position. Somebody has gotten themselves into a very bad position. And here is Jenna. That's a nice table. Wait, no. Is that glass covered or is there a hole in that table? There's a hole in that table. That's the worst table. That's... Are you sure it's not upside down? Maybe, I maybe I'm just not cultured. Okay. That's, that's entirely possible. Um... Oh god, this is a disaster. 
This is an actual disaster. Okay, right. Right. Well, Frankie. Let's go teach somebody the ancient Irish sport of hurling. Sure thing. I'm gonna batter you. <laughs> like we could just do that for a free, pretty much a free kill. Um, I think. Yeah, Jen is going to be going first. In your face, you fucking cup shot. Okay. Lads, we caught him totally unprepared. We caught him totally unprepared. He has no idea what's going on. I'd say just rush forward. Just rush everyone forward. And keep them out of this line. Oh, I should have actually put them on Overwatch and stuff. Uh, I don't think it makes a difference. We'll get him to watch this flank. There's bound to be one or two who'll come down this way. Lads, you were all practicing for the pageant. I have no idea what that person just did. But they were all practicing for the pageant. They they weren't watching the door. Somebody was doing nod. Ah, oh, they were doing a, a comedy uh, routine. Everyone was watching and, and getting them ready for, uh, I don't know, the Cat Laughs Festival in, in Kilkenny or something. But uh, now... You'll regret that, so you will. Is next. They'll probably come down in this direction. So, Cyril, I'd say if we get you to there. That's not Cyril. Frank, I am so sorry to have offended you. <laughs> now we have Cyril. With his running gun... Oh my god, he can't go anywhere. Understood. <laughs> go on, just another st oh lord. Now that's comedy. I know, ah, oh, he's so angry, he was practicing. He was practicing his skits. Are we in a position to do this? Are we in a position just to pretty much take him out? Yeah? We might as well. Now, it's it's a tremendous pity, because I would like if, if Jenna had gotten off his, um... His version of Unleash Fury. So every all the gangsters, all the mobsters have their own special ability. And Jenna's is called Magic Missile. He is... Do you remember we saw Wizard Oil in the last uh, building that we took? That is because he is uh, a wizard. He has access to, uh, to magic slots. And he can cast Magic Missile. And what it basically does is it targets... Um, he could target X amount of people in our group. The higher up the level he casts it at, the more people he can target. And he just sends out a magic missile to uh, to deal damage to everybody. So I'd like to have seen it. You'll just have to take my word for it. Angelo Jenna is a wizard. Right away. What must they be thinking as Come Frankie me, runs past? <laughs> Ah, 
I thought we'd have we'd have no sure we wouldn't have um we wouldn't have the thing that I forgot the name of. Uh, another another turn. Or is is could shoot. Perform a melee attack with your secondary weapon. My god, she's all this stuff that we never we never bothered uh, using. I think I will just put her on an overwatch. We could have um Yeah, I didn't think about that. So that's a dynamite bundle. Does he have any he doesn't. Um They're panicking because your man is down. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I will we'll dump it there. Oh god, yeah, he still has another another uh, it doesn't end his turn. play. So Eddie fired back. Now we are playing it a bit dangerously. Because I could have sent Dale in to kill uh, Jenna. Instead we're kind of messing around. You bastard. And because of our messing, Eddie's down to 4 HP. God protect us. Oh, Cyril's angry. He's taken out his gun. Man, Cyril. Be on the safe side. Wonderful. Cyril is going to keep Eddie alive in a way that he couldn't keep Eddie's GF alive. Did Cyril kill? Esther. Oh, uh, one, one more step. That's all we needed. Well, do you know what? We're going to have to kill them all on the way out anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. Oh, he's panicking now. He thinks he thinks this attack started because his comedy was so bad. Right, Frankie. You know what? You know what? Would he use the sledgehammer? Right away. About time someone shot you to fucking pieces. Hey, Jenna. About time somebody shot you to pieces. Says the man swinging a sledgehammer. Everyone is panicking. There is anarchy. There is bedlam. The wizard is dead. The great and mystical Angelo Jenna. We killed him. Every DM's nightmare. We killed him. Uh, we killed him before he could bring his full as as a DM myself. I was getting very emotional there. Um, every DM's nightmare. Killing off the big bad before they can bring their their true power to bear. This is the the, the most emotional I felt all this playthrough.
What am I doing here? Reload? Oh, it'll hit, uh, what's her name? That would be terrible. Fires at the wall. Ah, he missed the one person I wanted him to hit. I think he missed everyone. I think that was a disaster. Eddie has taken a right hammering from being out in the open. I've got it. I should have had Dale throw dynamite there. That would have been a better idea. Uh, we could have him move again. I won't. So again, they're, they're going to panic for two rounds. I don't think it'll give anyone a chance. Okay, they're not panicking. I wonder is it because Eddie's a cop? Is that why they hate Eddie so much? Look at this. The Thompson brothers. saying he could take him out in his entirety. Um. I was just about to say you're going to leave with one HP, aren't you? Okay then. Clyde showing off to Jez. Oh, I was going to say, finally, somebody would sense. Has he rallied? He hasn't. I think he'll run on the next one. Good. Uh, Frankie Donovan didn't find any magic items on the body. Probably found, uh, like, a wand or something that he can't use. A wand of magic missiles. That would be awesome if that's what Jenna had, but it's not. On it. Come here to me. Oh, just about. I thought for a second there he didn't have the... Um, that he didn't have the... The humph. That there wouldn't be enough humph behind that to, uh, to kill that person. Like that. So Clyde was shown off to Jez, but it's Jez who's going to do a kill steal. Oh yeah. That's what you get for an old sweep. Oh, somebody had a stick of dynamite now. Oh, wouldn't they do... Wouldn't they do anarchy? He just runs... Runs in, shoots, runs out. Right, there is Frank. We're going to let this guy run if he wants to. The guy behind us. Good luck to you, good sir. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm fucking yeah. talking about. All right. Victory. That's what I'm talking about. Frank is after getting awful horse. I wonder what Frank was doing that he got so horse before he even joined us. We have the Sicilian Kiss. It's a machine gun, and I haven't trained anyone on machine guns. So we'll be selling it. I think we only get about a, a thousand when we uh when we sell it on the black market. Where the Sicilian kiss goes, death is sure to follow. There you go. 
Uh, we got four grand off of the Jenna crime family, 178 from Independence. Lots of people are unhappy with us. I was really excited to see Jenna's magic missile. It, the the, the sp his, his spell called magic missile. Stop it. We had enough of that with Rosie and Jacques. Uh, but there you go. We have we have ventured into the dungeon, Jenna's dungeon. We will take the loot. We might as well take it over. What will we make it into? Naming this place the casino at Marino would be very appropriate. Uh, I think we will go for. Yeah, we'll go for a casino. And of course, we are obviously going to call it in honor of the Eldritch Powers Magic Missile. We better not catch Back anyone cheating in here. Christ a fucking almighty. Hey, Jenna. What is this shit? How many times did Frankie speak over himself there? Did he did he say three separate things all at the same time? We killed Angelo Jenna, the boss of the Jenna crime family. His two buildings are now yours. His wizard oil supply, fantastic. Um, oh, we got the the maximizer achievement. I didn't think we had a hotel here. I don't know how we got the maximizer achievement, unless we don't need a hotel. You know what? I don't know. That'll teach him. That'll teach him. So yeah, I wasn't thinking properly. Uh, no, we didn't build a uh, a hotel in this area, but we probably got one when we took over all of Jenna's rackets. So I have managed to complete all of the synergies and get an achievement without putting in any thought or effort whatsoever. And when you can when you can get these without really thinking about it, I don't think they add all that much to the game. I actually don't even know what they do. Uh, other than I know that they increase the efficiency of buildings in this region, but in general, I haven't, other than the security, which I now feel silly about, I haven't upgraded any of my buildings in ages. Uh, ambiance or draw or any of that stuff. All I've been doing is just making and selling whiskey. I sold another $24,000 worth of booze to... Los Romeros, just for no reason. Like I said, I'm not trying to buy anything at this stage. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know how appealing of a mechanic it is. But this is our new neighborhood. Where the hell are we? We're, are we over here? We are. We're, we're up here, I should say. And yeah, there you go. The entire map is now. Uh, various different shades of green. Dark green. There is... Uh, where's the light green? Light green. And... Purpine. Is is also a type of green. And oh yeah, there's light blue as well for the, uh, for the minor factions. But yeah, everyone's gone. It's just... It's just the Irish. What a great and glorious world it is. Except in Chinatown, which is in suffering massive penalties because we've been fighting a ton of wars here. Uh, yeah, so there you go. I'm going to end the series there. The Irish control everything. This is the dream that we've always had. The dream ending. The Irish, best of friends, united in our desire to dump tons and tons of alcohol onto Los Romeros. It's a beautiful dream, but it won't last for long. Um, yeah, next episode, we're gonna, we're gonna meet with the Bank of Ireland, get our mortgage sorted out. Maybe try and set up a savers account. Is there still savers accounts, or has it gotten so bad that like the the uh, the interest rates are just non-existent? We're we're going to meet with them anyway, and we'll see. We'll see what they say. And um, 
yeah, then it's going to be the ultimate battle to the death. We will first of all hit Dino Banyan, and then we're going to take on Frank Reagan. Uh, thank you very much for joining me on this episode. As always, as always, I'll have to come up with some catchy way of, of ending the episodes in future. Uh, check out the Discord. We've been talking about tons of different CK3-related mods and tons of nonsense, so check out the Discord. The links are in the description below. Uh, if you haven't done so already, give the channel a like or uh, subscribe to be kept up to date. I should say give the video a like and subscribe to be kept up to date with uh, with new episodes. I've no threats. I've no threats to give you. Like my videos, subscribe to my channel, or Irish people will come and take over your house as well. Thank you for joining me on this episode, and I will talk to you on the next one.